Every therapist emphasizes the importance of good communication. It sounds easy, but it isn't always. Hearing what you want to hear and ignoring the nuance behind what's actually being said can often result in unfortunate and upsetting circumstances. In fact, one of the biggest communication problems is that all too often we do not listen to understand, rather we listen to reply, which means that when someone's talking to us, instead of being fully engaged and being an active listener, we're instead jumping ahead and thinking about what we're going to reply. And this is one of the biggest problems in communication. I think that this is precisely the reason why in this week's parasha, Bilam's curses were turned into splendid blessings. The Torah describes how the prophet Bilam had the special ability to communicate with God. When he was approached by a delegation sent by Balak, the king of Moab, and asked to curse the children of Israel, God responded to Bilam, do not go with them. Do not curse the people of Israel because they are blessed. So Bilam asked the question again, and he is told that he can join them and give them support, but only the word I speak to you, you shall do, Hashem says. God was clearly telling him not to go and curse our people, but there was a breakdown in communication, and Bilam thought that God had actually agreed. Because Bilam heard what he wanted to hear instead of actually listening. I think this story teaches us an important lesson in mitigating conflict. When you think about it, it happens so often. We have disagreements with people, we argue, and if we trace it back, it's often because we said something that wasn't properly understood by the listener. And sometimes we're also guilty of hearing at least what we subconsciously want to hear. So think about it. When you talk, you're only repeating what you already know. But if you stop and listen, you may actually learn something new. Shabbat Shalom.